So today we're going to discuss how to work through finding the likelihood of N observations, which are IID, so independent, identically distributed according to a normal distribution with a mean mu and a variance sigma squared, where sigma squared is a known constant. So suppose we have f of y1 up to yn given mu sigma squared. So here we're talking about we have their iid, so independent, identically distributed. That means you can product them. So the product of i equals 1 up to n of this 1 over the square root of 2 pi sigma squared times the exponential of minus 1 over 2 sigma squared into y i minus mu to be squared. Okay, so that's all very well. This bit here is actually going to become a constant, so we can deal with that first one over the square root of 2 pi sigma squared to the power of n. The product inside an exponential becomes a sum minus 2 sigma squared. The sum from i equals 1 up to n of y i minus mu to be squared. Okay, at this point, we're going to start ignoring here. This is 2 is a constant, pi is a constant, and sigma squared is a known constant, so we're not going to worry about it. We're going to say it's proportional to exponential of minus 1 over 2 sigma squared, and we're going to expand out these brackets. The sum i equals 1 to n of y i squared plus mu squared minus 2 mu y i which in turn is equal to the exponential of minus 1 over 2 sigma squared and if we do these in components we'll see it's the sum i equals 1 to n of y i squared plus n times because you've added this up n times mu squared, minus 2 mu squared, well, the sum of yi from 1 to n is n times the mean, n y bar. If we take n outside the brackets here, we get exponential minus n over 2 sigma squared, and I'm going to slightly reorder here. We have mu squared minus 2 mu y bar plus 1 over n times the square, the sum of i equals 1 to n y i squared. And now we use a trick called completing the square. Essentially, we know that a product of Gaussian or normal distributions is also a Gaussian or normal distribution. So this should be of the form is going to be of the form of minus 1 over some constant and I'll subscript that n well I'll subscript it l for likelihood And it'll be, and you'll have y mu minus some mean, which is dependent on the data. It's called mu l to be squared. So how do we track down what mu l is here? Well, we would expand it by expanding out the square. We get exponential minus 1 over 2 sigma l squared 
mu squared minus 2 mu mu L plus mu L to be squared. And if we match up the powers of mu, we get, well, here's our first power, that's all very well. And furthermore, we get it's minus 2 mu here, and we've minus 2 mu up here. So we get mu L is y bar. And furthermore, we note, so we get mu L is y bar. And we also note that we should have minus n over 2 sigma squared is equal to minus 1 over 2 sigma l squared. With a little bit of cross multiplication, you can see that sigma squared l is equal to sigma squared over n. So therefore, our likelihood is normally distributed mean of y bar and a variance of sigma squared over 